Veteran NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore have been in an unexpected limbo on the ISS for over seven weeks longer than planned due to unresolved issues with their Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Originally scheduled to return to Earth after a brief stay of about a week, their mission has faced significant delays and it raises concerns about the spacecraft's readiness and the safety of the astronauts. Now, the Boeing Starliner, which is designed to demonstrate NASA's capabilities for crewed space travel, encountered multiple technical problems during its June test flight. These included the failure of five thrusters and helium leaks, which have yet to be fully resolved, and these issues have prevented NASA from approving the spacecraft for the crew's return journey back to Earth. And on July 25th, Boeing engineers reported that they had conducted rigorous ground tests and identified the likely root causes of the Starliner's malfunctions. Now, however, the process of addressing these issues has stalled, leading to further delays in the mission timeline. NASA initially planned for Williams and Wilmore to return to Earth aboard the Starliner shortly after their arrival on June 6. However, the space agency has now confirmed that the flight readiness review for Starliner, expected around August time, has not yet begun due to the lack of a confirmed target return date. And one of the significant complications is that Starliner must fly home under computer control without manual intervention. Engineers determined that manual operations during its flight to the ISS added strain to the propulsion system, complicating efforts to ensure a safe return of the astronauts. Steve Stitch, which is NASA's commercial crew program manager, explained during a July 25th briefing, some of the manual maneuvering put some extra stress on the thrusters. This has influenced NASA's cautious approach to authorizing the spacecraft's return at this point. And despite the ongoing technical issues, Boeing maintains confidence in the Starliner safety. They said, we have worked to understand Starliner's propulsion issues and are confident that the vehicle is safe to bring its crew home. They said this on August 2nd. Now, the prolonged stay of Williams and Wilmore on the ISS has involved extensive tests and analysis to pinpoint the exact causes of Starliner's thruster malfunctions and helium leaks. The efforts have so far not really yielded a clear path to resolve these issues, though. And NASA has considered alternate plans to bring the astronauts home, including using a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. However, this is seen as a contingency uh, rather than a preferred solution. Now, there are many good reasons to complete this mission and bring Butch and Sonny home on Starliner. That's what Stitch said during a July briefing. Now, a major design feature of the Starliner complicates the situation. The spacecraft was designed to operate with the crew on board. Now, that's an integral part to the spacecraft's functionality. This means that Starliner cannot simply just get sent back to Earth empty with no people on board. Starliner, Starliner was designed as a spacecraft to have the crew in the cockpit, Stitch said. The crew is integral to the spacecraft. This design philosophy means that updating the spacecraft software for autonomous return without the crew would be a significant and time-consuming task. And while Boeing successfully demonstrated the Starliner's autonomous docking capabilities during an uncrewed flight test back in May of 2022, the current flight software is not capable of autonomously undocking from the ISS like SpaceX's Crew Dragon, and it also can't be under Earth's atmosphere. Now, addressing this would require a non-trivial update that could take up to about a month of time. Now, meanwhile, the SpaceX Crew-9 mission, initially scheduled to transport four astronauts to the ISS and serve as a potential backup for the crew on the Starliner, has been delayed. Originally planned for launch as soon as August 18th, the mission is now postponed until at least September 24th. Now, Bill Nelson, who's the administrator of NASA, will make the final decision regarding the return plans for Williams and Wilmore. And he said his top priority, as always, is the safety of the crew. Um, now, as NASA and Boeing work to resolve these issues, though, the priority remains the safe return of the astronauts, Williams and Wilmore. And the delay in resolving the Starliner's technical problems shows that this is a very complex thing. Uh, spaceflight is hard. It's the one of the most difficult engineering tasks that humans have 
ever done. And sending people to the ISS is not trivial. Um, they need to test these thoroughly. They need to verify the spacecraft, especially when human lives are at stake. And the technical setbacks faced by the Starliner have provided valuable lessons for both NASA and Boeing as they continue to develop and refine their crewed spacecraft. So they're going to make upgrades to this, and the outcomes of these efforts will significantly influence future crewed space missions and the reliability of the Starliner spacecraft. And this ensures the safe return of the crew, and it'll be critical uh, for milestones in validating the Starliner's capabilities and addressing any remaining concerns for the astronauts on the ISS and getting them home back to Earth. They're currently stranded on the International Space Station, and we can't leave them there. So thank you so much for watching today, everybody. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you being interested in spaceflight. So please take a second, hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps out the channel a little bit, and also it'll help you out. Because if you want more stories about Boeing and Starliner and what the astronauts are doing on the International Space Station, it'll help you out because YouTube or whatever platform you're on right now will start integrating that into your feed. So thanks for doing that. And if you have any comments on this, please leave a comment down below. I appreciate your time. Take care of each other and yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.